Good day, folks. It's DIY Guy123 here. Today, I'm bringing you another do it yourself video. We're going to be replacing the decompression cable on this B7200 Kubota. The old one just basically corroded and rusted up and broke, so I bought a new one. You can see me feeding it through the housing right here. You probably don't have to take the dash off. I happen to have it off for another purpose. But uh, basically, you slide a washer over the cable, slide the whole works through, and then on this end, so you put a flat washer on first, then a lock washer, then the, uh, the nut. And of course, in order to do that, I had to pull these two little nuts. There's one here, and I, I took the other one and set it aside. And uh, they need to be off, because when you hook this up to your uh, the little bracket that's right on the decompression valve, you can only have a single nut on that cable. Okay, so I routed this, uh, the sheath for the cable through the hole in the firewall up here, right underneath the voltage regulator, through the little bracket that holds the uh, this cable, and I put one knot on this side and what knot, one knot on the opposite side. It's right, probably can't even see it, but right in there. And then on this end, I've threaded the nut lock washer, flat washer, up against the bracket, flat washer, and the cable, so I'll tighten those with the wrench. And now we're left with this decompression cable. Now before I put this in, I'm gonna lube it really well with grease, slide it all the way through, and it will pop out right at the end of this sheath, and then I'm gonna tie it into here, so I'll be back. Okay, so I've got the dash I'll put back together now, and uh, I just wanna show you, this is the decompression cable lever affair, and you can see, it's moving that lever back and forth. So, proper way to start this tractor, especially if it's cold, is to glow it. And then pull this out, and as soon as the engine starts to crank over quickly, release this right away. So there you have it. Good luck with your projects. If you like my videos, please subscribe.